Well, here's something interesting. I was working on this Thomas motor, and I was going to rewind those coils with a uh, finer gauge wire to reduce the um, amp draw on the thing. And I had these little already wound coils, 30 gauge, and I put them in series just to see what the uh, reduction in the resistance would do to the motor, and then it helped. And then I thought to myself, I wonder if I just put those coils right in there next to the rotor in series, what would happen? It basically turned it into a regular uh, type of gen generator pulse motor kind of thing. But it, it, it helped it quite a bit. And this is running on a candle. And that's a solar panel out of a solar garden light uh, right there. And uh, then the capacitor is uh, electrolytic. It's a uh, 470 microfarad a 35 volt cap. You have to have something to store that energy between the pulses. And the thing ran on a candle. And of course it'll run on a fairly low uh, light also. But uh, I just uh, wanted to show that to the folks that are studying these little pulse motors that we are. Now these are these ferrite cores that the uh, little neo magnet is stuck on the inside. And these are in a situation <clears throat> where they're out of phase, where um, um, they are all in series, but they're out 180 degrees out of phase. And that helps you with the back EMF or the counter EMF that uh, these things generate. But this thing does generate now with the coils pointed toward the rotor with the other coils wound parallel to the rotor. But uh, I just thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, uh, when I saw that, I thought I would uh, share that with uh, the guys that have been uh, working on this little uh, project. And uh, anyway, you can you can discover some things along the way, and that's the main reason for this video is to uh, tell all the builders and the researchers and stuff that when you build something, when you get away from just looking at it on a computer and calculating and doing your number crunch and you actually build something with your own hands, you stumble on stuff. And this was one of those things I stumbled on. I was putting the wire in series with that wire to try to reduce the amp draw by increasing the, uh, the windings of the coil. And by accident, I thought to myself, what if I put it next to the coil, to the rotor? And it made a really cool little pulse motor that I had not started out intending to build. And that's just an example of how sometimes you stumble on stuff. You find stuff along the way that you weren't intending to, to, to go for. And this is just one of those examples. Thanks for watching.